that is a little bit left. Hold on. Yeah, that's all right over there. Well, welcome back to every shot of an 11 handicappers round today. I thought, you know what, it's time for a challenge. You would have seen last week that I came up with a new swing thought, which is visualization. And it made my iron shot better than, well, ever than before, I would say. So I thought, let's go test it out today. So we're here at Faden Boys Golf Club, not a long course. It's 6,000 yards off the whites, but it is tight. It is narrow, it is tree line. There are plenty of places to trip us up today. So we're gonna see what we can shoot. Hopefully I can shoot my handicap because we're getting pretty close to that recently, but only time will tell. Wish me luck. Right, not ideal for our first shot. Um, yeah, we are gonna to have to chip out. I just pulled it quite hard off the tee box, so. Go, okay, get that one back out and play. Whoa, that kick. Oh my God, that is the un most unlucky kick I've ever seen. Well, that, that's a really unfortunate start, it really is. Um, somehow it's bounced straight left into this really long stuff with this slope. Everywhere else would have been absolutely fine except right here. So 70 yards to the pin. Chop this one out. That looks pretty good. I don't think I could do much better. Get on the green. Bounce hard. All right, I think we're just on the front edge. Now I've played here a couple of times and I've got to say, I'm always really impressed when I play. The greens are small, however, they are always rolled really nice and they just just go pure. I, I'm excited for this round. Sat on a sprinkler head, just gonna give myself a little bit of relief here. No close to the hole, so how far have we got? It'd be great if we made par here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, look how fast they're rolling. Don't go any further, there is a slope there. There we go. All right, it's a good bogey. I mean, that could have easily been a double. We're gonna to have to scramble in this round sometimes. I'm happy to have limited the damage there. A tricky par four, this one, quite long, at about 400 yards, uh, straight up a hill as well, very narrow. So gonna hit a hybrid. Oh, that's drifting just a little bit on the danger line. It's all out of bounds up the left. Don't kick that way. It's kicked that way. I think we'll just be in the rough on the left-hand side. Okay, we've got 163 yards to pin, play 171. I've got a six iron in hand. That's pretty good. It's gonna take a bounce left, surely. Left, yep. Oh, it's long. Unbelievably, despite it being July here in the UK, it's still raining. Will it ever stop? We had a couple of weeks of sunshine. Everything was actually getting really burnt out. So the rain is obviously welcome, but just not on the day that I'm recording. But to combat it, I have worn my most tropical shirt that I can find so that you guys feel like it's sunny. We need some objectives as always. So today I'm gonna to be going for two up and downs. I'm going big today. It's a par 69, I wanna break 80. And finally, I want to not lose a ball. There's a lot of out of bounds, a lot of trees, a lot of hazards. So that's a big one. This has gone absolutely massive, I won't lie. Um, almost out of bounds, so we could have failed an objective straight away. Obviously, take it away, pop it over here, Boop. pop it down there. This is a tricky little one, this, because it's gonna run away from me so much. Realistically, I should have really left it below the hole. I'm gonna just try and let it run on. I think it's gonna release like crazy because of the slope. Pretty much exactly what I wanted, but it's gonna run miles past. Yeah, there's a shelf just past it. It's caught it. And we're off the green. Right, 15 yards into a slope. I pretty much have to pitch it right at the top. Okay, perfect for distance. A little bit directionally challenge. There we go, save another bogey. Not too bad. Next up, we've got an extremely downhill par three. I'm gonna hit a nine iron into this pin here. Oh, I've pulled it a little bit left. Story of my day so far, it's a great strike though. Hopefully it's not too much. Sit. Oh, it's the right club, it's just very far left. Just another chance for an up and down really, isn't it? Landed it a bit short, but we've actually got a chance of a par there. Gonna need to start hitting some GIRs, aren't we? Love to keep the one putt streak going, you know? Looks pretty flat, maybe just favoring going down to the right. Oh my God, 
one putting for days. Love that. Our first par of the round. We got an up and down as well. That's good. We're on to a shortish par five here. Um, it actually opens up just behind the bunker on the left. So if I hit my three wood well, it should just be completely safe because it's quite a fat spot there. Yeah, absolutely piped it. Just got to clear the bunker, which is a bit of a danger because we're into wind. Oh, short, stay short. That's actually come up really, I think that's short. I think. Wind was a lot stronger than I first thought. So um, yeah, we're laying up here. Got a six iron in hand. Got to avoid the other bunker now. Fingers crossed. Bouncing towards it. No, we're short, we're good. 59 yards in now. Uh, what I'm gonna try and do is hit it into the false front and have it run up. A little scary, because obviously you don't want to get it wrong or otherwise you might be back down by your feet, but. That is so bad, I've chunked the living daylights out of that. All right, well maybe we can get our second up and down, eh? That was a bit of a lazy swing, I won't lie. Didn't really go after it, got to give it that commitment. But I gotta say thank you guys for all the support on the channel. Like, absolutely loving it. We're about three months in to regular uploads now, and I'm, I'm so happy with how things are going. So thanks for all the support. Subscribe if you're new around here. Like 90% of you are not subscribed, so please do. And like the video if you're enjoying. Same thing again, 54 into the slope. That's almost perfect. Oh, maybe we're checking off an objective already. Oh, actually, it's a bit shorter than I first thought. Same kind of thing, same roll. Nice and solid. Ah, just a little bit past it. It's all right. It's a bogey. We don't mind it. Now this hole is actually drivable. Um, I'm not going for it. I've got my hybrid in hand. It should just put us in front of the green. Oh, sugar. All right. Now I know from experience that's okay over there. It's not where you want to be. On second thoughts, guys, it wasn't actually a bad shot because we have ended up right here next to the greenside bunker, just short. 40 yards to the pin. It's probably gonna come out a little bit lively. It's probably gonna just play it like it's maybe like 35. Go on, run out a lot. Oh, that is pretty good. Getting better by the second. Real chance for birdie. Right, it's not as downhill as I thought, but it does look like it's going to break a fair old amount. I'm going to see if I can put it in the right hand front door. Oh, I just overdid it a little bit. Nice, good par. Could have been a lot worse. We could have lost that ball off the tee, but we got lucky. Right, we are now into wind. We've got about 361 yards on this one. There's a bunker about 200, so I'm going to hybrid thinking it probably won't get there because of the wind. Got to hope that wind's doing enough because otherwise that's straight in it. That is, oh, I've literally skipped the edge of it, rolled all the way around. Now I'm perfectly in the fairway. It's going to have a great shot in. 131 playing 127 into wind, got a nine iron in hand. I feel like this is going to turn over a little bit, this one. Well, that is very good. If it's the number, it's really good. Oh my God, sit. Sit. It's right on the back edge. Thought for a second there, we were getting something special. 30 foot here. I'm going to pipe through the fringe. Oh my God, I've whammed it. Stop. It's not stopping on that slope, Jesus. Yes. Good, 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 good. Very happy with our progress so far today, guys. So next up, we have got a dog leg left. Uh, there is a bunker just on the edge of this tree line uh, that's about a 190 carry. Um, you run out of space if you hit it much further though. So I'm gonna try and take it over that tree line there, just on the edge of it, over the bunker and into the fairway behind. That's the plan. Visualize that shot. Now just step up and do it. That could be almost perfect. Just a little right. Hopefully there's enough space out there. That might be flirting with an, well, 
That might be flirting with a red hazard there. There's a ditch at the end of the fairway if you just go too long. Getting pretty lucky today. There is our ball. No more than five foot from the hazard. All right, 120 to the pin. Playing 125. Got pitching wedge in hand, got wind behind. Yep, caught that good. It's just got to be the club. Actually, it's just a little bit right. It's up there. Let's see what we got. Okay, there's a bit more space right at the pin than I thought. A good GR here. We now have a big breaker, 30 foot for a birdie. Looks all right. Uh, it's fallen low. It's a tap in par though, guys. Okay, good four there, back to back pars. In fact, three pars on the trot. All right, okay, so we've got a par three here. Uh, pin is tucked right at the back. If you go through the back, you're in trouble. So taking a little less club than I need. Oh, I've smothered it a little bit. If that clears the bunker though, it's gonna kick forwards and run a long way. Go over the bunker. We are over the bunker and we are on the green. Still moving. All right, it's settled on the back edge of the green. Not a shot to be proud of, but I mean, it's worked. All right, so there's pin high and then there's this, which is 33 foot exactly pin high, which is just hilarious, isn't it? Because that was such a bad strike, but it's all right. Works out. Sometimes you get a bit of a good break. Go. It's not going to be a birdie. I do feel like there is a birdie out here for us today, though. All right. Rain is back again. Good. Oh, pushed it a little and got away with it. All right. That's a good par there. We're on a, we're on a streak right now. We've got a dog leg to the left. The only issue is, is there's this massive tree on the left-hand side of the fairway. The whole lot cambers down to the right, so you kind of have to take it over the tree. So I'm going to hit my seven iron up and over that tree. It's not quite up and over the tree. That's going to take a big kick to the right. Just stay out of the trees. Stay there. All right, we'll have a look what it looks like when we get up there, but not A1. Now, I did see an interesting, and what I thought was a really fair comment, actually, the other day, saying, Tom, not sure how you're a nine handicapper. Um, I only ever see you score in the, you know, 20 pluses when you play with people, and then when you're on your own, you play a lot better. Well, there's a few things behind that that I can address. Number one, I'm not a nine handicapper, unfortunately, anymore. My index has risen from 9.6 to 10.1 after last week's uh, 10 over, I find hard to believe. Um, the sort of like, the score differential was like 12 and I knocked off I think like an eight. So my handicap went up. What I would say is that when I play with multiple people, it usually is a really nice course. The nicer top 100 courses are generally much, much, much tougher, much easier to make mistakes and put a big score together. But also those scores are actually worth a lot more in terms of sort of like score differential. So the round at Woburn where I shot 16 over, I actually ended up getting a differential of 10. So I actually played closer to a 10 handicap because we were playing off the backs. I think another point is that when you're playing alone, there's no one pressuring you, no one trying to rush you, any of those sorts of things. And you can really just dial in your game. I've always played a lot better when I'm out on my own. And I know that's unfortunate because obviously there's no one to verify the scores, but it's just the way it is. We've now got 152 into this pin. I'm actually going for the center of the green here. The uh, penalty for missing that flag on the right hand end is pretty diabolical, I won't lie, um, because there is a huge runoff with a bunker underneath it, which you'll end up in. So it's better to play a bit more defensive here. And if we get a, a push, then we might end up close to the flag. Oh, I've caught it thin. That's not getting anywhere near. Oh, and there's that bunker. Oh no, it's even worse than that. Holy moly, I am miles down to the right. Make sure you drop a comment, guys. Um, this is what this channel is all about, creating a community of like-minded golfers. You know, sometimes we're going to be out chopping around local courses. Sometimes we're going to be struggling out at, you know, some of the nicest courses in the country. And then other times, you know, we might put a good round together like we are right now. Although we've got a challenging shot coming up, so let's not speak too soon. I'm going to try and land it right at the top and just let it release out. That's not very good. Sit. Yeah, I don't think that's a very good shot. Okay, um, so we've got 30 footer here. It's gonna be a tricky two putt, I think. Slow down. Oh my God, I feel like I tapped it and it's gone miles. 
No, no, I don't want to collapse on the flipping ninth. This would have been a good nine if we'd put a par together here. I've absolutely smashed that one. What the hell am I doing? Oh, thank God. I thought we were about to put a four putt on. It's a double bogey though. I forgot to turn the camera. Hopefully you guys saw that. Um, but yeah, pretty poor way to finish the front nine. Uh, puts us to five over, which is annoying. We're on track though. We're on track. It's just a shame that we wasted a shot there. Straight into a tough hole here. We've got a long dog leg to the right, par four. All right, I'm gonna take my hybrid, try and peel it off that tree line, really commit to this shot. No, that is a very bad one. Oh my God, it is bouncing around in the trees like it's pinball. Not ideal. I don't think I'm even gonna have a shot in when I get out from here, but we're just gonna chip back out onto the fairway here. Clip the tree. Yeah, I'm still not sure I've got anything there. Even if I have a straight in line, it's still like 230, 240. I usually wouldn't go for this, but I think this is actually the optimal play to keep it low with a hybrid, run it up. It's about 220 yards to the green. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We are in serious trouble here. Oh my God. It's pretty bleak, I won't lie. These trees are massive. God, all right, okay. Oh, that's not gonna do it either. My God, I am absolutely chopping it on this hole. Very big course management errors here. Trying that hybrid, I don't think it was the optimum play. I think hitting a seven out to the left and then just having like a hundred in or something like that was probably the play. Instead of going for it, that was never gonna work, was it? I did say this would be the ultimate test, guys. One bad swing and you could be done on this course. And uh, that is very much showing right now. All right, let's just get this one out a little bit. There you go. I so wanted to shoot a really good score today. It's not over though. Still got a lot of golf to play. All right guys, the end is in sight. My face, it's like a slapped ass, I won't lie. 70 yards to the pin. Come on, let's pull and finish this hole strong. Let's get up and down. Let's check something off our objective list, eh? That's pretty good. Sit there. Yeah, I think that's gonna be quite good, that one. If my maths is correct, if I make this part, I make seven. It'll be a wild seven. Ah. All right, it's a quad. Crikey. O'Reilly. Ah, sometimes your rounds just blow up in your face, don't they? You know what? We've done weirder things. We could go like one under through the rest and actually shoot a PB. You see what I mean about it, guys? We haven't hit a driver all day. We're not gonna hit a driver here either. Um, and this hole really testifies to how tricky it is because I'm about to hit a nine iron on a hole that's like 320 yards. This tree in front of me, we can carry that easily, but it's the two bunkers behind that are the problem. Um, realistically, if we lay up short, we'll only have 160 in rather than having to try and hit out of a bunker or something like that, so. Quite a bit thin, but it's gonna work perfectly. That's all we needed it to do, really. Bounce hard. Yeah, roll up, go on. Right in the middle of the fairway. I was just about to do a snack watch. I had a fajita wrap left over. And I've left it in the car. Energy level's dropping. Right, that's gonna be the biggest challenge now, is getting around without getting hungry. Right, we've got 144 to the pin. It's gonna hit a nine iron. I think it might get a little bit of a flyer out of this. Caught that pretty well. It's just drifting off a little bit. I thought the wind would help it off the left. No. Sit there. Oh, I think it's gone in the bunker. How's that happened? Maybe I just didn't get the club face right through and just left it open a fraction. I don't feel like my game's far off, you know. Um, practiced a lot, new swing is sort of coming together quite nicely. Visualization, sort of like swing thought is really, really helping. Um, 
just these fine margins, you know, that's what golf is, really, really fine margins. I can't emphasize enough how good this place is though for the money, like it's, I think it's like a 25 pound green fee or something like that in the afternoon. Uh, so if you're in Essex or any of the surrounding areas, make sure you come by and check them out. Uh, look at this, I mean, they've got loads of sand in the bunkers. You don't see that often. There is so much sand in here, holy smokes. Ah, quite really heavy. Long putt for par now. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. Thirty foot exactly. It's a number I practice on the uh, putting green, as you all well know. Ah, oh, it's too hard. Stop. Oh man, I'm not making it easy for myself today, am I? It's an awful roll, Tom. That is absolutely woeful. That is pathetic. That is a, such a bad double. What a terrible set of three holes that is. But double, double, quad. Eight over in three holes. I'm not going to shoot a PB with that, are you? We've got a really interesting par four now. Um, it's 283 yards. You can't drive it because there's this weird hedge, really weird hedge in front of the green at about 250. So anything you throw up there will just get caught in the hedge. All right, we need to shoot one under for the remaining holes if we want to break 80 today. Clip the tree. Should be all right there. Oh, big bounce right. Oh my God. <laughs> Fade them boys, it'll get you. This is actually the closest course to where I got married. I uh, got married just before the pandemic to my wife, Kat. Uh, been happily married since. We have a little girl together who's now two and a half. Her name's Eve. So a little bit of knowledge for you if you didn't know that about me. So uh, not content with having to go over this wonderfully quirky hedge. I've gone and put my ball down here next to this shrubbery, which means I have to go up and over a massive tree. We need as much loft as possible. We've got 74 yards in. We've got to go up and over this tree. We haven't got the worst. We've got a little bit of a fluffy lie, so that's gonna help. That could be really, really good. Be really good. Oh, it's short. It's bounced up though and rolled on a little bit. All right, I think this is going to be our best opportunity for birdie of the day here. We got to make it. It's probably only about 12 foot. I really need to recapture that putting that I was doing earlier for the bird. Get us back on track a little bit. No, yes, get in. I thought that I'd missed all day long. Here's a little bird. Here's a little bird for the boys. We're back to 10 over. Come on. Right, make one more on the next hole and then no more bogeys. In fact, we don't even need to make, you know what, let's just, yeah, let's just make more birdies. Birdies are good, better than bogeys. This is a tricky hole, we're going down. It's like the most intimidating tee shot because you've got this huge tree on the left, then you've got trees all up the right, it cambers down to the left, so realistically, you're aiming at the trees kind of on the right and then letting it just play the slope down. That is really good, what a swing, what a strike, what a golf shot. Yep, 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 all right, good, very good. Right, we got 134 to this pin, really happy with that shot. Um, gonna aim right at the pin because it all kind of funnels down to the left. That's pretty good. Back to that birdies, please, give us a chance. Okay, no idea, won't know until we get up there. I gotta say, after what has been a torrid time with my irons for the longest time, I am so happy to be striking them better. Um, it just feels so good when your game starts improving. I've actually seen a genuine difference in the last three weeks, it's all just clicked. Oh, feels good. Oh my God, that ball has gone miles. Now I think I've probably landed that ball almost exactly where I wanted to, blind shot, I knew that it ran down a little bit, but I can't remember it running down this much, so angled. The pitching wedge has probably gone a new record 160 yards. So let's find out how far away from the flag we are. Got to try and get this to go back up and close. 22, 66 foot. I don't think that's getting there. Roll. Oh, I've gone from what I thought I might be getting a potential birdie to what looks more like a bogey now. Come on, let's go. That would have been a hard bogey to swallow, but 
came out on the right side of it this time. This is a big old dog leg to the left. It's not a long hole. Feels like you should hit driver. It's so open once you get past the trees, but you'll end up in the road if you do. So I've got my hybrid again. Oh, trusty. Oh, literally, I visualized it just missing that tree and it's done exactly, oh my God, it's gone too long. Uh, it's done exactly what I was hoping. It's literally gone through the pixel of the screen that I've got in front of me of where I'd imagined it going. Unfortunately, it's gone too bloody long and it's now in the rough. Right, okay, uh, so yeah, we're in the rough just slightly. We've got 93 yards to the pin, slightly into wind, got my 50. It's almost a full swing, not quite. Go, go, I think I haven't hit it hard enough. Go, not even close to hitting it hard enough. Good, good contact. I think I just left it open a fraction and just didn't, just didn't give it the beans. All right, this seems a little bit wild, guys, but we're on a tight lie going up like quite a smooth shelf. About 24 yards from the pin. I'm gonna putt it. I just think it's, I just think it, it just le like, just lends itself to being a putt, really. Oh my God, you absolute donkey. What on earth was that? I literally pulled out of doing the putt halfway through. Oh, Tom, what are you doing? It's definitely the right thing to do. I just completely bollocks it up, that's all. Yeah, see, that's worked out really, really well. All right, we might escape with a bogey. That was like full melty McMelton, that first attempt. So bad. Second one's pretty good though. Yes. Okay. We still just need one birdie and now to par out to break 80. We're on plus 11, par 69. So we're currently shooting an 80 if we par out. Next up, we have a 126 yard par through, through the valley of the trees. Uh, it's, I'm going to use a nine iron because it's uh, pretty uphill, I won't lie. It's pretty good. It's up there. All right, we're putting. Oh, is that rolling back? No, it's all right, okay. Still on for not losing the ball though, guys. That's a result. All right, this is gonna be a tricky putt. It's 36 foot to the hole. Um, it's gonna turn quite hard down to the left because there's a, like a shelf running through the middle of the green through my putt. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can do. Oh, 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 oh. I'll tell you what, that's a heck of an effort. Take that all day long, guys, all day long. Pa, moving on to the next. On this edition of Bull Hunters, I see something in amongst the rough at the back of the green. Oh, what's it gonna be? It looks shiny, it looks new. It is. A slazinger, slazinger. great. Uh, this is a pretty short par four at 253 yards, but it's not one that I'm gonna try and drive because I wanna try and score well and I'm not a lunatic. It's really tight up there, and there is um, a brook at about 2.30, I think it is. So trying to go for it is just not an option. I'm hitting seven, leaving myself 100 in or something like that. that looks all right, it's pushed a little, so it might take a horrendous bounce and get me blocked out. Yeah, horrendous bounce. Oh, it's gonna make the next shot so difficult, yikes. Gonna get a bit fruity, got a five iron in hand. Gonna try and chip this 107 yards up to this pin. Get over the hump, jump. Oh my God, that might work. It's up there. That might be one of the craziest shots I've ever done on the channel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 27 foot. This would be quite the birdie if we made this one. There's a chance. Oh, it's just run out of steam at the end. There's going to be a par. There we go. Par it is. Second to last, hole number 17. It's another one of these tricky ones. You can't really go for it because you've got like this hedge <laughs> about 200 yards down. So I've got a seven iron in hand. Again, this is all about placement because of the camber of the slope. So I've got a line that I like. Last time I was here, I actually hit the trees behind me on my backswing, ended up making like a quad bogey. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't happen again. I think I've given myself enough space this time. I've learned my lesson. 
Yeah, that was pretty good. I don't think it was the best swing, but good result. Now I've learned from the hole where I thought I played it perfectly with a pitching wedge and it ended up out on the back edge of the green. I know that this hole is very similar to that. It's got such a steep camber just on the front edge. Pins right at the front, it's 150 yards away, but I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge because it is downwind as well. Um, and I think I'm gonna play it right. I think it's gonna bounce hard and end up rolling very close. I was actually just speaking to two of the members over there and uh, they said, you've really got to know it. You've got to know the course, which is so, so true. I think a lot of people come here first time and maybe dislike it because you know you get a little bit of bad luck, but that's a case of not knowing the course. So once you know the course, it should all come together. Oh, that's a little bit left of where I wanted it. That's like right on line, the pin is gonna bounce. Sit down. Oh my God, it might be just on the front edge. I think that's probably as close as you could hope to get it. I think this is just a little chip. Try and take it in up on the right hand side and just have it rolling close. I just don't think, I would love to putt it. It's just, it's got a little bit of crap in front of it. <laughs> Get the skin! No way! No flipping way! Come on! No way! No way did that go in! I won't lie, I duffed it. But I've chipped it in anyway. And we've made a birdie. We are 10 over with one to play. If we par it, we've broken 80. I think that might be. The, is that the first time on the channel that we might do that? Don't get ahead of yourself. Think about the next shot. Next shot. Woosa. Right, let's go finish this strong. All right, we're finishing off on a par three, guys, with one swing away from breaking 80. Um, just thought we made up and down on that last that shot, didn't we? I mean, we just went up and in. So, um, yeah, up and down's checked off. Brilliant. We haven't lost a ball yet, which is good. And now there's just one objective left. It might be the first time, I think, that we check off all of our objectives. Oh, it's pretty good. It's just a little left. Hopefully it's going to catch a piece to make this easy for me. Sit down. We're on the green. That looks pretty good, I won't lie. Right, 24 foot to the, to the hole. Downhill, it's gonna be quick. Turn more, turn more. Oh, go on then. Give me a little tap in for the flipping finish. Get in. We've done it guys. What a moment. We've done all of our objectives. We flipping broke 80, which is unreal. So we shot 10 over. We didn't lose a ball and we got up and down twice. One of them was a chip in. That's outrageous. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have shooting us. Get yourself down to Stadium boys. It's lovely. It's lovely. And it's like 25, 30 quid for a round. And if you want to see another video from me, well then just click right here.